know about Wakanda. Okay guys, so without wasting too much time, let's get right into the breakdown of the Black Panther teaser trailer. So the first thing you will notice right off the bat is that that is the one and only Andy Serkis playing the character of Ulysses Claw. This is of course the very same character he played in Age of Ultron, where of course he got his arm chopped off by Ultron. You will of course notice he is missing his arm, and of course this probably enables him to get the robotic claw, but not only that, he is talking to Colonel Everett Ross, the same guy that is responsible for the Civil War actually shaping up and being what it is. And we see that Claw is telling him about a land that not a lot of people have checked out. This just so happens to be the hidden land of Wakanda, which is supposed to be this primitive thing, or so they think, but of course it hides grand technology and almost futuristic looking, you know, things that the Earth can't even comprehend. Now Claw says that explorers have been searching for this, and it is called El Dorado. Now, of course, El Dorado is the mythical city of gold. And he says that explorers have kind of, you know, just been looking for it in the wrong places. It turns out this entire time, the entrance to El Dorado is in Wakanda. And of course, we see them enter it and what it looks like. And it looks absolutely beautiful. Tons of color, these great waterfalls. It's what you would picture the city of El Dorado to look like. And there there we even see this advanced flying jet vehicle, almost looks like it's being supported by some sort of Stark tech, but of course it's probably not. They probably had that technology there for hundreds of years already. And Claw says he's the only one that has seen it. So we see a bunch of people that are trying to find their way in, they look up and there's the Black Panther ready to absolutely demolish them with his skills and of course their weapons don't do anything to his vibranium suit. And of course this is where he says I can see you because he knows that people from Wakanda are watching him. One of these just so happens to be the Black Panther himself. Cue in our big reveal of Wakanda with that flying vehicle going in. It looks like a city of the future. Almost something like out of Futurama. It's so technologically advanced we have nothing like that currently. So after that scene we have a voiceover saying that the world is changing. Now this is of course you know talking about the world here in Wakanda but the world in general as of course there's been alien invasion, magic, all this crazy crazy stuff and we see a guy putting on a mask and he's ready to blow up a wall this just so happens to be where Claw is located and being kept as a prisoner. So this is probably going to be the crew of Manape and Killmonger that is trying to rescue him to stir up this civil war within Wakanda. Then we're going to get a few quick flashes of some action and showing the Dormaji in action, but we'll talk about them in just a second. As the next big scene I want to talk about is this one of the Black Panther showing up. He has his kind of arms out like, you know, what, 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 what is happening here? My guess is that this is either the first time he's showing back up after the events of civil war and you know the presence of wakanda has now been made public into what is actually there you know like all the technology or this is him showing up after he's been summoned for his leadership of Wakanda, probably by Killmonger or Manape. After that, we have a scene that seems to be almost like the UN World Council that's going to be happening here, and this is probably him revealing everything and the true details of Wakanda, saying that he is a new king because of his father's death that of course happened due to the events of Civil War. And this probably sets off a huge chain reaction. Which brings us to the big revelation of Michael B. Jordan, and if we compare the suit, we see that he was the man in the mask that rescued you Ulysses Claw, so he's probably being held for trial right here, and he's probably going to break out due to the help of Claw. And then after that, we get the full reveal of their Dora Moage, which are of course the protectors of the Black Panther. Like, they are the most elite fighting crew that he has at his disposal. And after that, we see Eric Killmonger fighting the Black Panther. Now, this is probably him, you know, challenging him to the throne, and after he loses and everything, he stands trial, he breaks out and we see that he's going to face off versus the most elite warriors there. 
he probably escapes. Now in this scene, we see two warriors who are probably ready to fight Killmonger and probably stopping Claw. And I say Claw because if you look at the weapon she is holding, it looks like the same type that Claw is going to be using to shoot those like sound beam wave things he has in the comics. And then we see a fight for power where we see another person kind of celebrating. I'm guessing this is Man Ape's crew just because you can tell by like the white fur and everything they're wearing. This is probably his clan and that character is going to be in Avengers Infinity War so he's probably helping the Black Panther. And the trailer ends with a car flipping Black Panther looking awesome and that is it. Hopefully you guys enjoy this breakdown and let me know what you thought of the trailer down below and what you guys might have caught in it.